Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today is another episode of my championship score prediction. So this is now week 20 guys of our score predictions and uh, it's good to have championship football back. Of course last weekend we did have the FA Cup so uh, it's pretty nice to be having championship football back onto the channel guys. So uh, if you've not seen this series before let me briefly explain how it all goes down. So every week I give you my championship score predictions for what I think the results will be with each individual match. FIFA 17 also makes their predictions, but what I'm really interested to know is what you guys have to say. So in the description down below, I will leave all the fixtures that are taking place this weekend. And then I want you guys to go ahead and make your predictions. And then if you do manage to correctly guess any of the score lines this weekend, I will include your comment in the next video. So uh, like I said, we've got some massive fixtures to talk over this weekend, guys. And uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one, actually. But uh, I must say as well, apologies that I've not been able to get any other videos out so far this week. Basically, the reason because of that is because, obviously, I've just gone back to college after we've had a holiday lately. So, uh, apologies I've not been able to make many videos this week. I've just not really had much spare time. But uh, hopefully next week, I'll be getting a bit more uh, consistent with the uploads. But uh, enough for me rambling on. We'll just get into the score predictions. So, our first game we had to talk about, guys, we have Reading, who are coming up against Queen's Park Rangers. So, quite a tricky tie to actually start this one out with to be completely honest and uh, this game is actually taking place tonight guys on Thursday night bit weird having championship football on a Thursday but that's how it's happening nowadays I suppose so Reading coming again up against QPR I mean you're looking at in terms of the table, really, Reading should be the winners of this match. But uh, in saying that, QPR lately have been in a decent run of form. Uh, I think they've won like the last two games in the championship. So a bit of a difficult one, but I do see Reading's quality coming through in this match. Of course, they had an FA Cup weekend to forget with that um, game they had against Manchester United. But I'm going to expect Reading to bounce back in this one. But I think QPR could make it difficult for them. So I'm going to say that Reading are just about going to win by two goals to one. FIFA saying a nil-nil. And then next up, guys, we have Leeds United who are coming up against Derby County so this game is taking place on Friday night so this one's taking place tomorrow guys and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to watching this one because I think this could be a really good game and uh, two sides which I both think play football very well I think Leeds United sometimes this season have just been absolutely wonderful to watch at times and the same goes for Derby County when they are on form they are once again a fantastic team to watch so uh, two sides coming up against each other of course both will be vying for promotion come the end of the season and I honestly can't split this one so I'm going to say that this one's going to end as a 2-2 draw I think quite a few goals could be scored in this one FIFA saying a nil-nil but I'll, I'll be very interested to know what you guys have to say about this one and then coming up next guys we have British Bristol City who are coming up against Cardiff so once again in the league Bristol City currently don't find themselves in the best position I think they're currently only three points away from the relegation zone and uh, of course in the current run of fixtures that they've got going at the moment it's not looking too rosy for them in terms of their recent results however what is looking up for Bristol City has been their new recruits lately they've already been able to sign three players in this January transfer window so if they are going to come in and have an immediate impact on this team and help them get something against this Cardiff side it could be a decent result for Bristol City but uh, going up against this Cardiff side and Neil Warnock I've got a feeling that they'll make it quite tricky for Bristol City and their new players betting in to the side in this one so I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw I think that it will be a good time as well for Bristol City to get back to winning ways with this one really of course it's still in January and after that FA Cup weekend may have been a bit a nice distraction from the league but I think this one could end level as so I'm going to say it's going to finish as a 1-1 whereas FIFA said another 0-0 and then coming up to our next game guys we have Birmingham who are coming up against Nottingham for so, so far this season, of course, uh, Gianfranco Zola with Birmingham is yet to win a league match with them. So, quite a disappointment from that angle if we are going to approach it like that. But I'm actually going to fancy him to get his first victory as Birmingham manager in this one. I mean, Nottingham Forest lately... Is, this thing with Montagne, the ownership going over, some of the contract issues they've got at the club as well. It's a really tricky one for everyone involved with Nottingham Forest at this point in time. Of course, they had that FA Cup exit uh, on their Saturday as well. So... Going on to this one, it's a tough one, and Forrest are this really unpredictable side so far this season, but if they're anything, you know, their recent results are anything to go by, I'm actually going to go for a 3-1 Birmingham victory in this one. I think they could score quite a few goals. FIFA saying a 1-0 Birmingham. And then going into our next game, guys, we have Brentford, who are coming up against Newcastle United. So, lately, Newcastle have been a really funny team, you know, obviously, they've been pipped to top spot lately by Brighton and Hove Albion, so it'll be like that battle, really, to get first place back now for Newcastle. So, uh, coming up against a tricky away tie, really, against Brentford. Of course, Brentford do have those players who can really damage you. Of course, Jota's just returned. That's a 
fantastic bit of business there from Brentford getting him back. I think he was off on loan. And uh, because we played like Scott Hogan as well, they're always going to be a danger going up against. But I do fancy Newcastle for this one. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 win to Newcastle. Whereas FIFA said a 0-0. And then going into our next game, guys, we have Burton Albion coming up against Wigan Athletic. And this is a massive game taking place near the bottom of the table, guys. And uh, three points at this stage for either of these sides in the current predicament that they both find themselves in would be massive for them. I mean, I can't describe how much a win would actually mean to Wigan here. Not only because that would, you know, lift their own points, but it would, once again, take them closer to Burton and getting out of the relegation zone. But uh, for this one, it's a really tricky one. And honestly... I'm going to back Burton Albion for the victory in this one, I think. At home this season, I think it has been their home form so far this year, which is keeping them just above relegation. And uh, coming up against Wigan, I think it will be a cagey affair, but I'm going to say 2-1 Burton, whereas FIFA is saying 1-0 Burton. And then going into our next game, guys, we have one I actually expect to be quite a lot of goals in and quite a lively affair taking place at Craven Cottage. We have Fulham, who are coming up against Barnsley. And uh, once again, this is a matchup of two teams which like to play pretty decent football and uh, have scored quite a few goals recently as well. So... It's a difficult one to come up against, really, because I think both sides are currently in a good run of form. And, uh, you know, Barnsley this season probably won the over overachievers of the season so far. You know, to find themselves where they have done in the table so far, considering they were promoted from League One last season, it has been a phenomenal season for Barnsley so far. So I do find it really hard to back against them. But with this Fulham side, I just feel like they've got that switch and some quality players that they have going on at Craven Cottage. It's a difficult one for me, but I'm actually going to say this one's going to end as a 3-2 victory to Fulham. It's a it's a hard one to do, but I think there could be a lot of goals in this one, whereas FIFA has said this one will be a 2-0 win to Fulham. And then for our next game, guys, we have Ipswich Town, who are coming up against Blackburn Rovers. So, once again, this is quite a difficult one to predict. I mean, Ipswich so far this season have been a really topsy-turvy sort of side. They definitely, um, be, you know, I, I think it's fair to say they've been in decline this season, really, under Mick McCarthy. It's not been a season to um, win hold so far for Ipswich but coming up against this Blackburn Rovers side who currently you know they're still not in the best position in the table but saying that their results lately I've got to give it to Blackburn they have been pretty decent lately I mean that was topped off you know not too long ago with that win against Newcastle of course they're still in the cup as well in the FA Cup so I think with that run of form Blackburn can take into this Ipswich game with quite a bit of confidence so I'm going to say that this one's going to end as a 1-0 victory to Blackburn Rovers I think this one will be quite a low scorer and uh, FIFA saying that this one will be a 1-1 and I could see that to be honest I think this could end as a draw but I'm going to back Blackburn for this one and then for our next game guys we have Michael of Preston North End who are coming up against Brighton so like I said before Bryson currently find themselves at the top of the table so I am anticipating a very tough match for this one indeed you know um, it's a really difficult one of course Preston coming off the back of that Arsenal game where in the first half you know if we take that into this game against Brighton I genuinely believe we could get something from this game but I'm not going to take anything away from Brighton because they have been just exceptional so far this season so I do anticipate it to be a very tough match I think defensively Preston could struggle a bit with this one as well you know with some of the flair plays Brighton have got going forward and as well considering that Preston have got Ben Pearson suspended for this one I think Lewis Dunk as well is out for Brighton for this one so that may be even the playing fields a little bit and Preston's record against Brighton in recent years is pretty decent but it's a difficult one. It could end as a draw, but I'm going to say 2-1 Brighton for this one, whereas FIFA has said a 2-1 win to Preston, and uh, what a result that would be. And then for our next game, guys, we have Rotherham United, who are coming up against Norwich. So, of course, Norwich have currently found themselves under a little bit of an uphill, you know, since their massive decline they saw not too long ago. But, uh, of course, they're coming off the back of a win in the Championship and in the league and in the FA Cup as well, I should say, as well. They obviously got that very impressive victory over Southampton. So, coming up against Rotherham, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I am going to back a Norwich victory for this one. Rotherham, they had that little bit of form where they picked themselves up a little bit. Since then, it's been a bit iffy with Rotherham. So, uh, and I do think that their defence will be quite suspect in this game as well. So, I'm going to say this one's going to end as a 3-1 victory to Norwich. Whereas FIFA is saying this one will be a 1-1. And then going into our next game, guys, we have Sheffield Wednesday, who are coming up against Huddersfield Town. And once again, this is definitely a game to keep your eye on this weekend, guys. It's a quite a big game at the top of the table. Of course, once again, we have two promotion chasers who are going to be locking horns in this one and uh, 
it could go either way, to be completely honest. It could go either way. And I wouldn't be surprised at the outcome of this game. And it would be very easy for me to sit on the fence for this one, but I'm not going to do that. I just feel like with how both of these sides are coming into this game, I mean, Sheffield Wednesday, so lately, they've not been good. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say that. They've not been good so far uh, in recent times. But with the, some of the players they've got in that squad, it can just click at one point for Sheffield Wednesday and they could have a fantastic game. But saying that, I'm just going to back a Huddersfield victory for this one. I think this one could be quite a tight match once again so I'm going to go ahead and back a 1-0 victory for Huddersfield whereas FIFA is saying the opposite scoreline to me FIFA is saying a 1-0 victory for Sheffield Wednesday and then for our last game taking place guys we have the evening kickoff on Saturday and that one taking place between Wolves and Aston Villa so of course we have a derby to wrap this one up and uh Boy, where do I go into this one with this one, really? Because uh, Wolves against Aston Villa, it's a tricky one. And two sides, I'd like to know where you guys think these will end at the end of the season. I'd be very interested to know. Also, as well, I must say that sooner rather than later, I will be doing my reacting to uh, my league table I did at the start of the season. That video should be coming out fairly soon. For you guys and uh, these are two teams which I'm not sure where they'll end up at the end of the season and being a derby I can see this one being a little bit cagey I mean Aston Villa so I mean Wolves I should say have definitely shown an improvement in my opinion under uh, Paul Lambert you know they've been creeping up the table slowly and steadily lately and uh, Aston Villa I think not having Jonathan Codger of course he's gone to the African Cup of Nations that will be a massive blow for Aston Villa in my opinion for the first for the foreseeable future. So for this one, I'm going to say that this one is going to end level. I think this one's going to end as a 1-1 draw. It'll be very interested to know what you guys think about this one. But uh, FIFA has actually backed a massive scoreline. FIFA has said that this one is going to end 4-1 to Wolves. And uh, what a scoreline that would be. Can I see that? It would be mad if it happened, to be honest. But uh, FIFA saying 4-1 Wolves. I'm saying 1-1. So there you have it, guys. That will wrap it up for my week 20 score predictions. So it's absolutely mental that we're on week 20 now with these score predictions, guys. So uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like. And as well as that, of course, make sure you get your comments in in the comments down below. Make sure you get your predictions in. All the pictures that are taking place will be listed in the description down below, guys. But apart from that, thank you so so much for watching. Make sure you also check out all the other links in the description down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, as I always tweet before I upload the video. Therefore, you'll never miss a video ever again, guys. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.